336 Main Street, formerly known or known formally as the home hardware property uh, across the United Church, is um, is to me, I think, one of the most exciting developments the town has seen. I am tremendously excited about the possibility, or the the likelihood of uh, of the town having anchored on kind of that east side near the uh, near the duck pond area. Um, possibly somewhere between 70, 80, 90, whatever it is, residents in, in uh, some 65 units. Be they somewhat small, uh, thinking with respect to space, and a guy who's just about to head out on two weeks on a boat with you know six or seven other guys, uh, space is a commodity one cherishes when they have it. Properly, uh, properly designed, loads of room for everybody and it's comfortable living. So it's, uh, it's an exciting project. Right in downtown, some six, seven million dollars uh, of the actual project, but what that spin off economy is for our tradespeople, for our wholesalers and retailers and lunch people and coffee providers, all that type of thing. Um, and what it's going to do with, with putting a downtown residents um, that, to the, again, to a side that has been eh, neglected is probably too strong a word, but has not been uh, incorporated into the regular commercial space, I would say, um, is going to make that, I think, just help develop more commercial space, but also the downtown living. It's going to make, it's going to include downtown as, um, and although our residents, many of them live near the downtown, this is Main Street. They're going to have. I think it's going to be with the project that's proposed for large community. I see some of the resident, or some of the uh, the uh, core members, being able to live in that uh, building with the proximity to uh, to the um, to the workshop. And I think it's. I think Wolfville's going to just grow and benefit by this. Uh, it's. It's not for everybody, but neither is a 2,200 square foot condominium for everybody. Yeah. The proposal currently has come before council. It was not rejected. I would say, I think, I don't want to speak for everybody on council, but I would say all seven members of council um, are in agreement that this type of project will benefit the town of Wolfville. I think where we stand now, it's, gonna, it's been tabled, the, the motion to approve it. It's been tabled to go back and, and uh, have some exchange between our development officer, planning department, and the developer himself to try and get something. Right now, I, I think the biggest problem right now, the reason it hasn't gotten the stamp of approval, which I am certain it will get, is I feel that nothing has come there that actually grabs, uh, has grabbed anybody and said, you know, in 25 years they'll look and say, you know what? Look what we've done. Look, look at that. I was part of that development. I helped put that on the street. Um, there's been no, there's no gotcha, no pick up, grab a hold and say, man, that's a good looking development. So uh, right now, and I, and I am really, I, I hope the developer um, will continue to work with the town of Wolfo. Uh, I'm sure he will. He seems like a very good guy. He's got a great project in Antigonish. Seems to work well there. I've gone up to take a look at it. I've been walked through a couple of the units, and I really, uh, really hope we'll uh, we'll see that uh, come back before council, uh, before the end of the summer.